I've been at this for a few days, attempting to make a skateboard wheel type steering system for a soapbox derby car. And I realized that the solution was a little simpler than I was originally thinking compared to some of the other designs I've seen online. So these are some Harbor Freight $3 wheels, uh, you know, when they're on sale, $3.99, I think, so $4 wheels. And then some all thread with a couple of nuts. Um, and these are, this is five eighths all thread, which fits right through all of this. This is a little section of all thread here. And these, this is just a couple of pieces of some old um, angle iron that I had laying around. Now this, get, this is an uh, inch and a half, which is kind of thick. This stuff is incredibly expensive right now. So I was on the, the uh, a mission to find what I could for some scrap. So what I've discovered is that two pieces of angle iron, hole drilled for five eighths in the middle of it, and that can actually pivot there. And I'm using lock nuts on both sides. These didn't need to be lock nuts, but that's all I had right handy was lock nuts. And then these are two lock nuts jammed together. And the only thing I did was weld this piece of all thread to these two nuts. And that just allows me that if I need to, I can move this axle side to side. And what that ultimately does after adding these block spacers. Now, if you were doing a mountain board, you could bend it up, but you have to get these, these blocks at an angle. This is 27 degrees. It just kind of fit right and seemed correct. Um, now these axles need to come out just a little bit more to get good spacing on here. But as you can see, they pivot freely right there on that point. And that's what you're trying to get is a it's somewhere in the you know 25 to 45, depending on how aggressive you want your steering, you need uh, that angle of these blocked woods. Uh, so this is just a two by four cut on the miter saw at um, 27 degrees and then screwed down. And I screwed through the top into those blocks of wood and then just put like four screws here. And this is just to show how this is gonna work. Um, there is no uh, springs on here. So ideally you want to add some kind of springs or compression bushings on here. Really they should go like right here with some kind of compression bushings. What I'll probably do is use some maybe scrap foam or um, some cl some closed cell foam. I happen to have this stuff that I'm using for a seat. Maybe I'll just use that in kind of a sandwich layer or something. But you're going to have to, or even a pool noodle would probably work there. Just a cheap way to get this because this is, you know, one time use. Maybe the kids playing with it in the backyard. I'm not looking for perfection here. I'm sure you could build something better. But ultimately, what you want to, what I was so excited to finally see is that now when you sit in the vehicle and you lean, it actually causes those wheels to turn. So I'll zoom out here so you can see that the two wheels actually turn when you lean the vehicle. So as it leans over now, and they're rubbing against the wheel right now because I don't have them long enough, but now I've accomplished what I needed to. I have the ability to lean steer this, and then I'm gonna add a handbrake on here somehow, and that should give me a little vehicle that can roll sled down hills in the summertime or use it on a soapbox derby, and just a, a little thing that the kids can ride in uh, for our Pinewood Derby, we're going to do a little soapbox derby outside. That's what this vehicle is for. So just temporary use. Um, didn't build it overly fancy, mostly just scrap materials or really cheap things that I could, I could get for the short time use. But anyway, just wanted to show you another way to build the steering compared to some of the things, other ways you might have seen. This seemed a little original, so I figured I'd share.